Hi there. Hi, are you here for the hair examination? You are, you have the hair examination appointment. Okay, perfect. So I see that you're all seated and ready to go. Perfect. So today I will be examining the thickness of your hair, the color, the texture, the overall texture of your hair. I'll be examining your scalp health. Okay, and then I'm going to check your scalp for any oiliness or dryness. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll just be looking at the length and your ends and then the overall volume of your hair, okay? Sound good? Okay, perfect. So, I've got a couple hair clips here that I'm going to be using to clip back some of your hair. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. And you just make sure that you let me know if anything is uncomfortable. Perfect. So the first thing I will be examining is your hair color. Okay, so I've just got a little a little piece of your hair here just to get an idea of how many colors we've got in here. So I see a light caramel type brown. Mm-hmm. Like a caramelly brown. Okay, so that's one. And then I see some low lights. Is this your natural color? Really? Okay, just some highlights. So these low lights are completely natural. Well, lucky you. So we've got a darker brown. And then we've got a little bit of a lighter brown. And then we go back to that caramel color here. And then some more low lights. Mm -hmm. And then we've got kind of like a mix of dark brown and blonde here. That's gorgeous. Okay, so that must be your highlights. So I would say that we're working with that we're working with about four to five different colors in your hair right now. And then in the sunlight, in the light, I see a reddish shine to your hair. Yeah, so I would say that you have warm red undertones to your hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, definitely have got some warm reddish brown undertones to your hair. Mm -hmm. Warm tones, lots of warm tones in your hair. I can even see some orangey red shine right here without even trying to make it shine. You've got very, very shiny hair. Okay, so I'll just remove these hair clips. From my experience, it's always better to examine the color from the hair underneath because the hair on top is more exposed to the elements, exposed to sun, can potentially experience some photo bleaching on the top of the hair, so we don't like to examine the color right from the top. I always like to pin back some hair and look underneath. Okay. Okay, and then while I'm at it, I can already take a guess and say that your hair is very thick. Just based on how it feels as I touch it, as I examine it here. And uh, I would definitely say that you've got thick hair. 
we've got a lot of hair here and the individual strands are quite thick mm-hmm quite thick very thick you have so much hair as well so you've got thick strands individual strands just looking I would definitely say that this is medium thick to thick hair very dense as well lots and lots of hair I assume you notice that your hair is easily tangled yes I can imagine with this amount of hair wow it's gorgeous many people would love to have your hair okay Perfect, so we've got the thickness figured out. We've got some light reddish tones with medium thick to thick individual strands for you. Okay. Okay, and then I'll just be examining the length of your hair. Okay, and the condition of your ends okay so I see that there is a little bit of dryness at the ends of your hair I would say you do have quite long hair mm, yes quite long definitely mid back length I see yes but all around we have some damage here some damaged ends this could be from anything this could be caused by anything really from heat styling to tying it up and not being super gentle with it could be caused by just exposure to weather or it may have been sometimes since you've had a trim super common to experience split ends we all do I definitely have some split ends myself <laughs> but so for you because your hair is so thick and you have so much of it I would definitely recommend getting a trim do you, do you want to maintain the long length of your hair? You do. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, well then I would recommend a trim every few months. Maybe every, I would say between every three to six months. At least twice a year. Just a trim. Nothing major, but just to clean up those split ends. It helps with length retention so your hair is not breaking off at the ends. So that is important maintaining the health of long beautiful hair like you have okay so the volume of your hair you have a lot of volume to your hair here do you have any products in your hair right now also i do apologize if you can hear some traffic sounds outside of the spa sometimes it gets a little Do you, sorry, do you have any, any products in your hair right now? No. Wow. So this is all natural, natural, beautiful volume and natural waves to your hair. So lucky you are blessed with all this volume. I love it. Okay, so. Yes, lots of volume to your hair. And then, I don't know if I did mention, but
but at the end of our hair examination after your appointment you will be either mailed or emailed it's totally up to you a full report of your hair's health the status of your hair and any recommendations that we may have to keep up with the health of your hair okay so you will get a report in the mail or via email Okay, so I'm going to be examining the texture of your hair. So I did already examine the texture of your ends, but I would like to examine the texture of everything from roots up here. And just down your full length of your hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Overall, the texture of your hair is fairly healthy, but like I was saying earlier, your hair is a little bit on the dry side overall. Um, nothing to worry about and nothing that some hair masks or some oil treatments cannot fix. There is, there is a little bit of dryness going on here. So, which is also quite common for thicker hair to be a little bit more dry. Okay, and also you did mention that the lighter pieces in your hair are color treated. These are highlights that you've that you have had done mm -hmm. okay and then when we dye our hair especially when we lighten our hair it can tend to lead to a little bit more dryness okay which is fine but we just need to be a little bit more diligent in conditioning and taking care of our color treated hair and kind of helping it to stay hydrated bouncy and shiny and less likely to break okay so next I will be examining your scalp for any oiliness or dryness right away I do see that your hair and scalp tend towards being a little bit on the dry side so your scalp is actually quite the same it, it's a little bit more dry than we would ideally want it to be for optimal scalp and hair so I'm just going to do a more thorough scalp examination, just make sure that there's no issues going on. No irritation occurring, just make sure that I'm just 
like to make sure that your scalp is in tip-top, 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 tip-top condition, okay? And it's looking good to me. It doesn't seem that there's really anything to worry about here, but I will continue and examine back here too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit of dry. a tiny bit of dandruff from the, the dryness, but it's nothing that cannot be fixed. Okay, yes, yeah, so your scalp does seem to be in very good condition, but just that dryness. So if you don't mind, I do have this oil treatment for the scalp. And free of charge, I would love your scalp and your roots. Yeah, this is honestly such a great product for taking care of mild dryness of the scalp and of the hair. You can also apply this to your ends. It really gives them that little boost. So are you okay with me applying this to you? Yeah. Okay, great. So I'll just shake it up a little bit. just apply a few drops of this oil onto your scalp. I'm just massaging that into your scalp a little bit, helping it activate and really moisturize the scalp. How does that feel? Good, it feels nice. Already a little bit of itchiness is gone. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, 
face so you know what if it feels that great already as my gift to you I'm actually going to send you home with the rest of this bottle you can continue the treatment on your scalp Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to be taking this home today. Okay. And this is where our hair examination will conclude. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's been a pleasure. If you ever experience any concerns or have any questions, feel free to come back for another treatment or from the spa with any questions you may have, okay? And you can also expect your detailed report. Would you prefer that via email or via mail? Email. Alright, that is the most popular option. Okay, alright, so I'll take my leave now and I will meet you up at the front desk to grab your email, okay? <laughs>